Right, so it's been a little while since your last pro fight. What have you been up to since then? Uh, I've been open my, my gym in uh, Johor. So I've been busy like three or four months for like set up everything and the stock, everything. And then after that, uh, I was just training. Then Prem comes to me and there's the offer come. I was going to say, fantastic organisation to be making a comeback to. How did it come about? Yeah, like the first try for, for, for me in uh, this, I think this is my pro debut. So for Brave Combat Federation, I think it's the best, man. And they treat us like so well and travel, everything, and even the hotel is good. So everything is organised well, so I'm excited to fight for them. I was going to ask you about how was your first experiences of uh, Brave and also experiences being here in Jakarta? Uh, yeah, this, uh, I think this is my second time in Jakarta, but before like five or six years ago, but I came f here for a job, like for an expo. So yeah, like Jakarta is, it's, it's not bad and uh, just the traffic is a bit <laughs> terrible. Yeah, other than that, it's, it's good. Now Vincent, who you're fighting, he's unbeaten. He's also fighting at home. Do you think the pressure's on him? Uh, I think the pressure is uh, on both sides. But for me, I, for now, I don't feel any pressure. I feel comfortable. The weight is on point and training is good and everything is good. Then we just enjoy the fight. What do you think of Vincent as an, as an opponent? Uh, of course, in the fight, he's my opponent, but in, in, in private, we were friends. Yesterday, I saw him in the gym and we say hi, everything, and we checked about. Then, yeah, we share the same dreams. I believe he's won three of his last four fights for Americano. Is that something you're prepared for? Yeah, he's like very good in the side control, and uh, the best thing is uh, he's the, the Americana, but of course, I'm prepared for that, and my ground is. It's not really bad, so yeah, always. You're the Malaysian Invasion Season 1 and 2 champion. How much, how much was that experience vital for this? Uh, a lot, man. Like, we fought in big stage, especially the, the grand final in, in, here in the stadium. And the crowd is awesome and everything is like, get, get us to have a big venue and we get used to fighting under pressure. And also like, we fight every month and control the weight, the training, and it keeps us like f always stay fit and keep our sh the skill sharp. It's good for us. They were at middleweight. This fight's at light heavyweight. What made you move up a weight class and how's that transition been? Uh, actually, every time I got a weight cut until maybe like 80, 83 for middleweight. And after the fight, I was like 90. And that, that actually is my my natural weight and I told myself okay I want to keep the body I want to keep everything because we cut really hard then after the fight we always go for celebration everything is like okay then the training is like relax a bit and soon we go through the point that's very fast you go through like 100 but now it's like I cut from 110 so now it's good so you ready for Friday night yeah always and lastly how do you win? Uh, expected I for the second round TKO, but let's say it's the first round, he makes a mistake, maybe. Well, good luck. Looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. Yes, thank you.